let me pick those up because I was trying to get them in the corner here. Uh -huh. Hello gamers, I'm Mortuary and today Mr. Nibs is joining us on another Modded Scorched Earth adventure. Well, yesterday we played around a little bit, tamed a few creatures as you can see here in our base. And well, meanwhile, I have gotten to level 70 already, so I think it's time to maybe head out and uh, find a good spot to build something. I have a, an idea about something to build. It will be something big and if I can make it, then it should also be something nice and good looking. I won't be telling you what it is since, first of all, I will need to find a good space to build. And I have found a little plateau a little bit further up in that direction, which I will be checking out next. So uh, let's head up there and uh, I'll talk to you guys once I'm up there. Okay, I have a little starter area with uh, some uh, thatch, thatch foundations. I used uh, the thatch foundations just to check if I could build what I had in mind right here. A little starter hut, three by three with a little veranda. And next up, I will be building some murder and pestle and I will be using the S plus ones. You see, I have two versions, the normal one and the S plus one. And the advantage is that this one can pull resources from nearby containers. So what that actually means, I will be showing you uh, later on, but let me first craft a few of those and I will get back to you guys when I have uh, put them up and I uh, have something else to show you. Well, <laughs> have a look at this. I didn't even do it. Well, I didn't even do a thing. This one is knocked down. I don't know what happens, but I'm going to take the opportunity to try and tame it. I think uh, I have plenty of berries in here. So let me... Ah, I can't move. Damn. I had spotted it earlier, tried to kill it, but uh, it killed me. So I had to flee, uh, go back to base and make some arrows. So by the time I got back and made my arrows, I couldn't find it anymore. And I looked around just a little bit and here it is, knocked out and all. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to take the opportunity to try and tame it out. Uh, as long as those uh, raptors don't get too close, I should be pretty fine. Well, I think I will be needing uh, some uh, narcotics, so <sighs> I will have to get back to base. So let me put up some defenses around the creature that way. Nothing can touch it while I go grab some uh, narcotics at the base. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna do that, just to be sure. Let me put up some defenses around it and head back to base. I think probably it got uh, hit by a poison thing, but the only poison thing I can see in the area is another the poison dodi up there. I'm not quite sure if those would attack it, but uh, well, I did already put 100 arrows in it myself, so maybe maybe it's a little bit of both. Let me move this one back. Two more fences should be fine. And the good thing is with the builder's helmet, I can always pick those up later on. Let me close up the gap. There we go. I'm gonna go grab uh, some narcotics and uh, I will. Get back to you guys once I have an update. Well, I'm checking back on the team. I think 45 minutes have passed by now. And uh, as you can see, it will probably take another half an hour, if not even more. So I'm heading back to base. I'm gonna do some stuff up there. And uh, well, I just wait until this one is tamed up. Well, I did a few other things and meanwhile uh, I checked back on the Dodicurus and it's tamed out. Tamed out at level 504. Oh my god, look at that. 153,000 health. I don't think I will be adding anything more to that. Huge stamina. Nice food. Weight is... Mm, well, 2,500. You can, start, you can start with that easily. So let me pump some melee damage. Oh, nice maybe up till 1000 or something like that and uh, then i will be well pumping weight anyway it's time to clean up uh, this whole thing and bring the dodicurus back to our new bidding spot and we'll see what happens from there so meanwhile i have taken uh, sharon to the new building building area and uh, i have a saddle for her too so let's put on the saddle raise some melee damage 
and uh, take a rod for a spin. I wonder how much stone I will be able to gather. She isn't moving. Oh, I thought she wasn't moving at all. Yeah, let me hit some rocks in the area and uh, see what happens. So this is a rock. Ooh, 1,200. That's nice. Well, I'm gonna be heading back already because she's already uh, full and uh, I need to get rid of some of that weight. Now, I will be showing you again what are the advantages of the S plus stuff. Uh, come on, hurry a little bit. Well, should be close enough. Let me jump up and uh, head to the mortar and pestle. And now I can easily pull all the resources I need into here. Let me pull some uh, sand. Can you actually type? That would be nice. Some sand into here. There is like 4000 on the Dodecarus, so let's say 1500 in here. Pull. Done. And that should allow me to make lots of clay already. And I will be doing the same with the other two. Pull resources. Uh, let's pull sand in here. Uh, there is like the Dodicurus 2500 left. So let's pick 1200. Pull. Yeah. And then we can make more clay. Now that the clay is being prepared, I can start to think about building some of those. Uh, Adobe foundations because I will be upgrading this to Adobe. We'll be making it a little bit bigger and I think I will be even adding a dinosaur gate somewhere in order to put some of my dinos away safely. So I'll be doing that. I'll be preparing some stuff and I will get back to you guys when I have uh, some results to show you. Okay, I think I have found a little problem with the uh, S plus structures. As you can see, I have uh, S plus foundations. S plus doorways and doors and S plus uh, walls. But when I approach this door and open it, I can't get through without crouching for some reason. And I think that is because these uh, uh, Adobe foundations are just a little bit higher than normally. I'm, I'm not quite sure because this, this side here, I have ceilings, S plus ceilings, and here it works perfectly. I have no problems at all. So I think maybe it has something to do with the foundation up here. So I'm going to remove all this and uh, check with a uh, ceiling to see if that is any better. Let me quickly do that. Luckily, I have the builder's helmet, so that's nice too. Uh, let's check. I pick up this one. Let me see if I can make a ceiling. Yes, I can make an Adobe ceiling, an S plus ceiling. So I will be using that one. Okay, and now let me place the door back. And, well, the actual door itself too, and the wall above that. And let's check if that solves my problem. I hope so, because otherwise I will have... Oh, crap, stupid doors. No, it doesn't change a thing. Hmm... Well, let me fiddle around with that and try to find a solution because I have absolutely no idea what is going wrong here. So I'm going to try to rebuild some of this stuff and uh, I will get back to you guys when I have a solution or, a, well, a workaround. Okay, back with a little update. I think it's a little bug in S+, Plus actually, because right now I have placed a ceiling here, a ceiling on the other side, and now I don't have any issues at all. You see, I can pass through without any problems at all. Okay, I think I found maybe another S plus bug. Let me show you what I mean. I was trying to make some sloped roofs to get up to the other part, but these are S plus sloped roofs, but they do not seem to be doing anything. Let me show you. I can actually walk right through them. Normally I should be able to walk upon them, above them to get to the top, but you see, it isn't working at all. Not sure what that is. Maybe it's another S plus bug. I have no idea. But additionally, I can seem to place the other ones. You see, I can place that one, but I can't place this one because somehow it has no, I don't know, no support. So I will have to remove these. And, well, actually they are not there. Look, I can't even pick them up. 
that's very strange. So that's probably another bug, so uh, I will have to work around that, probably try some other stuff maybe with default uh, sloped roofs and see how that goes. This is nice too, Structures Plus or S Plus actually has three different types of uh, pillars. This is a small one, this is the medium one, and this is the large one. You see? Quite nice. So a medium one is like three small ones and the large one is like five small ones. Let me pick those up because I was trying to get them in the corner here. Uh -huh. Okay, a few more strange things with the uh, Structures Plus stuff. Let me show you. I have in my uh, hot slot number two, I have an... Let me show you first with a normal uh, fence foundation. And normally you should be able to snap that to the sides of a ceiling. Apparently I can't snap it to the side of this ceiling, no idea why. But once I place another ceiling, I can snap it perfectly, even to the back of that one. I have no idea what's going wrong, wrong there. Uh, hold on a second, maybe that's the whole issue. Let me pick that one up and see what happens now. Yeah, no, it does. Now if I can remove that one and check again. Yeah, now it does snap. Huh? It's the the wrong one. It's not the fence foundation I'm looking at, it's the railing. Okay, let's do that all over again with the fence foundation. Fence foundation is no... It is no snapping. Let me pick the wooden one. The wooden S plus fence foundation. Okay, that doesn't do a thing, but the normal hopefully will. I think that's perfect. No, I want it on the other side. There will be ramps up there, but uh, for the looks, I think I will be taking this side. Let me check. Yeah, that looks okay. And then I should be able to place that one there. Yeah, that's fine too. And can I now place one of the railings? Oh yeah, I have them in my inventory slot. This is perfect. Yeah, I like it. Let me continue that and uh, probably that will be almost the end of my little build here. So. I will be uh, doing some more building stuff and I will get back to you guys once I have an update. Okay, I think I have the basic setup for a little, uh, well, starter hut and production facility. What I did was I built this little area, added a little balcony with ramps that go up and a little door, well, two doors actually, just uh, so that it is a little bit symmetrical. In here I will be putting up some forges and other stuff for production. And back out here I have a little area covered which, uh, well, where I can host some, some dinosaurs. I still need to put up some uh, feeding trough in here. And sadly the Morellatops doesn't fit through this big door, so I will have to figure something out for the Morellatops. Maybe add another part, but uh, I'm not quite sure yet. Next up I will be probably finishing uh, some building, some construction uh, off camera because, well, it's done, but uh, it can uh, look a little bit better, I think. Not quite sure what I will be doing. Uh, maybe add some more pillars on the side right here. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. I still, I'm still missing a railing up there, and I probably will be putting in some doors up there as well. And then I will be putting up uh, forges and similar things inside, and we can start building... Uh, in the area. One thing I have noticed is that, uh, well, I will need wood and there isn't all that much wood in the area so I will need a, a thorny dragon in order to be able to go collect some wood. So that's probably something I will be doing up next and another thing I have spotted is uh, this silly creatures. There is a mega raptor level 60. I have no idea how much damage it does but I would love to go kill it. So maybe that will be for an another episode since uh, we've been busy for quite a while now. I will be cleaning up this area too because it, it's, it serves no purpose anymore. But uh, well, that's uh, my little cabin for now. 
I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, oh, crutch shot. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and oh, Jesus, what's happening? Uh, yeah, okay, let's <laughs> let's not go there. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, okay, well, uh, I will have to do something else. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any comments or suggestions, you can always post those in the comment section below the video. And uh, if you want to get in touch with me personally, that's also possible through the different social media channels. And you will find links to all those in the description as well. There is one more thing you can do, and that's hit the subscribe button. Uh, not only will you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. Well, uh, this will be it for this episode. Until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.